Okay, so as you probably know, Anki ceased trading earlier this year, and uh, a lot of Cosmo owners are noticing that their devices are starting to slow down, and many of them are actually dying. The internal batteries are failing, and they are not user serviceable. So this tutorial is going to show you how to replace the stock 320 milliamp hour battery with an upgraded 600 milliamp hour battery, which should give about 80 minutes playtime in between charges. Uh, you can see here that the replacement battery is pretty much the same dimensions as the one that is already in the unit uh, and the good thing about this is these batteries are easily sourced uh, it's quite easy to, to do the upgrade uh, and obviously knowing this we can keep these devices alive indefinitely we can just keep replacing them when they eventually fail so what you need to do to complete this is a spudger a, a small Phillips head screwdriver a nail file a soldering iron with a precision tip some precision tweezers and a set of helping hands uh, and all we're going to do is uh, start breaking this unit down. So the, uh, the quickest way to do this is starting with the arms. Um, there's obviously two sets of arms there that are on the device now. They are not held in place by any kind of screws or anything. It's all tension based. So if you can see the top set of arms there, there's a little clip that holds them in. So as long as you raise the arms up as high as they can go, uh, unclip the arms from the bolt that secures them that goes right the way through the uh, the body of the robot once you've removed that you want to lift the arms again as high as they will go uh, and that will free them up they are actually locked the bottom arms are locked in one of them is locked into a, a small gear which raises and lowers it uh, and the other one isn't locked into anything but you can see here that they actually go in and out in a very particular way there's almost like a key to it there uh, but once you've got them off um, you're good to move on to the next step which is removing the wheels so obviously the treads come off without that too, too much uh, problems there but you uh, just need to stick a little nail file or a pair of tweezers or something in the grooves underneath the hub caps on the wheels uh, and they will pop off and that will reveal the screws that are holding in the the both sets of wheels exactly the same on both sides of the device uh, once you've got those hub caps popped off you just get your posi drive screwdriver you remove those two little screws there uh, and you'll be able to uh, free them up no bother you want to obviously we're doing this in stages so try and keep everything set because you're going to work backwards once you've made the repair the next step is to remove the head now you need the spudger for this because you need to remove that nice little red cover that's uh, around the side of the head that's just held on with two little clips and underneath that little cover is two more phillips head screws uh, identical on both sides um, it is worth noting that the head itself is spring loaded so you probably want to keep your fingers around that uh, when you're removing the screws um, it's difficult to explain it's difficult to show on the video but once you sort of pry the um, the head apart as it is spring loaded um, the assembly itself will sort of come away so there's a little spring and a couple of little posts there that will fall out you just want to sort of keep them to one side make sure you don't lose them uh, and make sure that things don't go flying off uh, as well the the screen or the face of the Cosmo is actually a little OLED panel and it's connected with a uh, three pin video adapter cable uh, you just need to very gently pry that away from the uh, the OLED panel and again put that to one side so the, the next step uh, here would be to uh, remove the um, the front bumper from the device, which is just, again, held in place by a couple of uh, small Phillips head screws. Uh, again, self-explanatory, it's not really uh, not really that, that difficult. Um, moving on, we've got two more screws that are holding in the back panel that sits behind the head. Once you've removed those two uh, Phillips head screws, you just use your spudger and you just remove that little black panel there. There's two more Phillips head screws recessed in the left side of the uh, the chassis of the robot. Um, you might not be able to see them on the video, but they are deep down in there. And there's one last screw to remove, and that is in the central column. Um, the back panel, which has the LED, the power array, that just unclips itself. That's not held in place by uh, any, any screws or anything like that. But once you are at this point here, um, it is literally just a case of uh, very gently and very carefully prying the two halves of the robot apart uh, and making sure to keep hold of you can see it in the video now the, uh, the, the small little metal counterweight is like a counterbalance uh, that sits at the back of the robot uh, and I think that just helps it balance for when it's doing its tricks and flips and everything so just make sure you don't lose that keep that safe it's insulated and it's actually covering what we need to get access to which is the um, the soldering points of the stock battery now you can see here that it's uh, it's quite 
close together on the PCB board. You can see the red and black wires. They're fed through that, um, that little black covering there, which is like the charge port that sits on the uh, the charging cradle. Um, all you need to do is get your soldering iron, clamp the PCB board into some helping hands, and just desolder the uh, the two cables on the uh, on the device. Again, you know, take your time. You shouldn't have any problems doing it. It's quite an easy procedure. Um, once you've removed the battery, it's just a case of working backwards then. So you, what you would obviously want to do is make sure that uh, the soldering points are nice and clean. You've removed the old solder and you're ready to, to go. You can see here that the, the battery I've removed is a bit swollen, misshapen just through general use. So then you need to prep your replacement battery in exactly the same way. You just solder the, the, the tips. What I like to do at this point as well is remove the little rubber sticker from the back of the stock battery, which I think... It's not so much for insulation, I think it just acts more like a, uh, a bumper. Uh, maybe just save any vibration on the, in the device. Um, and it's just a case of working backwards. As I say, you just feed the, uh, the new cables through and solder them to the old points. The 600 milliamp hour battery, as I say, is a massive upgrade on the, uh, the stock device. You should be able to do this. If you're confident in your abilities of soldering and everything, you should be able to do this uh, without too many problems. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. And if you do have a Cosmo that you want to be repaired, if it's broken or if you just want to upgrade the battery, I can do that for you for a small fee. Please hit me up in the comments below. I will speak to you again soon. Thank you for watching. Uh, goodbye.